okay, this is way more explicit than the normal cells would work. Let me tell you that. Hi, my name is Mira. I'm a six-year Dutch medical student. And today I have something really exciting. I'm going to react to Cells at Work, Code Black. If you don't know, Cells at Work is a Japanese manga about the human body. And I've already reacted to two episodes of Cells at Work, season one. However, this is a spin-off and it shows cells in unhealthy bodies. So someone who's smoking and drinking alcohol. Um, and I've heard it's a little bit more darker than the normal Cells at Work. So I'm really curious what this season is about so if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as well and let's get started okay so let's get started i'm so excited i recognize the red blood cells Ooh. as you can see there are delivery destinations there is a blue root and a pink red root and the pink red root is probably the uh, arterial system and the blue root is the venous system and because they have to deliver oxygen they are going to follow the pink slash red root um, so yeah i love that they're incorporating anatomy are those the older brothers of the red blood cells i feel like they've been through a lot and they don't seem really kind <laughs> Again, anatomy. I really like that they're incorporating an enemy. Here they're talking about the aortic valve, and that's because that's the starting system um, of the red blood cell, I guess, because they get their oxygen in the lungs, then they go through the pulmonary vein to the heart, and then they go through the aortic valve to the aorta and then to the rest of the body. So it's sort of the starting point of the red blood cells because from here they can go to the rest of the body and deliver the oxygen. Um, so in your stomach, but also in other parts of your digestive system, there are a lot of enzymes to break down the food that you're eating. Um, for example, here they're talking about pepsin and pepsin breaks down proteins into peptides. So smaller amino acids. <laughs> Excessive eating and drinking. I'm really curious about this season. So as the red blood cell is saying, he has to deliver the oxygen to the main organs of the body. And those are, for example, your heart, your brain, your kidney, your um, liver. And the brain is the most important of them all. And your extremities are one of the least important organs of your body, uh, if that makes sense. So that's why, for example, when it gets cold outside, your hands and your feet get cold, uh, because those are the least important organs of your body and the blood flow is going through the, your core and your vital organs. I think I know what it is. The LDL guys. So LDL is a bad cholesterol and it becomes high, for example, when you have poor nutrition, poor exercise, you're smoking, uh, those type of things. And that's bad, of course, because as you can see right here, cholesterols can accumulate in arterial walls. And that's bad because those plaques can limit your blood flow. And in the worst case, it can rupture and that can cause strokes or a myocardial infarction. So it's really bad. on point with the anatomy, the carotid artery leading to the head and it supplies like your face and your brain and the descending aorta leading to the torso and it supplies a lot of things. I have to say it's more intense than the normal cells would work. Carbon monoxide has higher affinity to hemoglobin than oxygen. And if you don't know what affinity means, you probably know it. But affinity is like, I don't know how to explain it. The way it attaches itself to the red blood cell. And it's way higher for carbon monoxide 
that means that oxygen is not able to bind to hemoglobin which means that your body doesn't have enough oxygen delivered to certain cells and um, so that's a problem this is the best theory they were explaining everything in a way easier way than i did A toxin? I wonder what it can be. I'm going to wait, they're probably going to explain it way better than I'm going to explain it, so let's see. Those red blood cells look like zombies. I don't know if carbon monoxide can do that, but they're looking like zombies. I'm curious about bacteria, let me know your opinion. But I always learned that you're more susceptible to bacteria in areas where there is less blood flow. Um, and that's because a lot of white blood cells are not able to get there. is way more explicit than the normal cells would work. I think it's a neutrophil, right? They're finally going to deliver the oxygen. It's been a while. Hopefully the cells are still alive, but let's see. That's true because when a red blood cell is developing, they have a nuclei. Afterwards, when they are mature, they don't have a nuclei anymore. Entire life, they live 120 days. That's sad. That's really sad. Interesting fact, the treatment of carbon monoxide poisoning is pure oxygen. Of course, everyone knows that smoking is bad for you. You've probably all seen those pictures where you have like a healthy lung and then you have like the smoker's lung and the smoker's lung looks disgusting. However, a lot of those smoker's effects is reversible. Uh, that's probably why he was cleaning a lot of things and it became almost clean and then the person began to smoke again. So yeah, it can be reversible. So the toxin was nicotine. Nicotine is part, of course, of tobacco. And that's the part that's most addictive. And it binds to the acetylcholine receptors and more specifically to the nicotinic receptors. Hence the name. Because that person is addicted. So that's the end of this episode. I really enjoyed it. I feel like it's also more explicit than normal cells at work. But I feel like they have to because then you can really like show the impact of like uh, things like smoking or alcohol. Um, so I really think that's necessary to do, I guess. Because otherwise it won't really have an impact on people. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I'm really excited to the next episodes. I'm also going to react to Cells at Work Season 2, Episode 1. So if you want to see that reaction video as well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And then I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.